Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I am so happy that you could join me today for a daily plan with me. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And today I'm going to be setting up a daily page for my very busy Saturday. I have so much going on that I want to accomplish today. I'm feeling bright and bubbly, so if you're interested in checking out what I'm up to with my Happy Planner block pad, um, just keep on watching. So this is actually something that I discovered at um, Joann's. It was a Joann's I don't really go to, but I kind of want to start going to it more often because I feel like they always have things that I don't see in any other Joann's. So I found this block pad in that Joann's and it kind of gives me like the feels of the mixed media mom collection from the Happy Planner. It has kind of like that watercolory abstract type of um, like art print um, in, in, the, in the sticker books and um, I don't know if they have a planner of Mixed Media Mom but they have this block pad and I was really drawn to this block pad because you know me, I love the, the long hourly schedule that they give us and this one starts at 5 in the morning and goes all the way to 10 in the, in the, in the night. 10 at night. Can you believe that? 10 at night. Whew, usually I'm in bed by like 9.30 to 10, so that's perfect. And I do try to get up um, relatively early. Like 5 is a good time for me. Sometimes I get up earlier and sometimes I get up like around 7. But it all depends on how exhausted I am. So today is April the 30th. April 30th. It's a Saturday. And I'm gonna start off with my top priorities here. And let's switch from a gel pen to a more serious, a more serious pen here. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go for my Micron 0.50 millimeter. So top priorities, number one, um, honeybee quantification. So I had a really busy week and I'm on a really, uh, a really tight timeline for getting this analysis completed and I wasn't able to do what I needed to do during the week so I'm gonna have to take the weekend to do some work so I need to do this analysis um, today and I'll have to complete it tomorrow it's actually a really boring um, quantification. I'm counting honeybees in hives using some image software manipulation program. It's really boring and uh, it's simple. It's just really repetitive and boring and like after a few hours of doing it you feel like you're going crazy. But I really need to get this data. I do need to know the, the amount of honeybees in a hive in order to use it as like a control variable in some other analyses I'm running. Right now I'm doing an analysis where I'm measuring how angry different hives are and how their behavior changes over the seasons. And I really need to know the size estimate of the colony in order to really make like a strong statement that, you know, hives differ um, you know, by other factors other than their size. So I really need that data. It's just really annoying to collect. So I have to do that. Honeybee quantification, eight colonies. I also want to work on my genomics um, pipeline. This is just a really intense computational genetics analysis. I have to finish and I wasn't able to finish it during the week but uh I'm gonna take some time this weekend and that's how it goes like I'm at the very end of finishing my thesis right now and graduating so it's gotten to the point where um I have a really strict deadline I'm graduating at the end of July and in order to really reach that deadline you know with flying colors I need to I just I gotta work overtime around this time but after I graduate I'm gonna be taking 
a nice vacation before I start my next job. So it's crunch time. It's genomics pipeline. I do want to spend some time um, grading student lab reports. That needs to happen. Ugh. My goodness, so much grading right now. Grading student lab reports. And then I do want to spend some an hour doing um, multimedia communication work for my other position. So I got to maybe do an hour of that. And then I think the last thing that I want to do is um, write uh b defense manuscript so i gotta do like an hour of that hopefully i'm trying to publish my work with the honeybee defense analysis which is why i really need to get that analysis done so i already have like a, a bunch of other stuff i did for this project trying to publish it so hopefully um i get some work on writing that draft and then we have a section here that's to buy, but I don't, I'm not gonna need that. So I think what I'm gonna do is I have here my Life is a Party Happy Planner sticker book, an oldie but a goodie. And um, I like it because it's really bright. I haven't used it in a bit, so it's nice to like rediscover it. And also it was my birthday yesterday, so um, it kind of got me in the mood because it's all about, you know, celebration and partying. So, let's see. Put the sticker up here. Love this. I do love it. Got some balloon stickers. I need to figure out how to use those balloon stickers. They are really, really cute. I'm gonna grab the super duper sticker just because it's kind of um it's kind of just randomly there so let me see if there's anything else i want to do here movie night oh my god i can use one of these stickers at eight like around here because at 8 25 um i'm gonna go watch the batman have you watched that it looks really good. Um, I feel like it's been in theaters for a while. And um, I just was so busy around the time it came out that I wasn't able to like see it when it first came out. I feel like it's been out for a couple of weeks now. And I'm looking forward to seeing it. It looks really good. So yeah, if you've seen it, let me know if you liked it or not. Um, let's see, what else? Um, is there anything else I want to add here? I like this Given to Joy sticker. It's really bright. Given to Joy. Maybe a little bit of washi tape. I have my washi tape here. A Rilakkuma washi tape, maybe. Um, or maybe this Otter washi tape. I don't know where I would put this. Okay, and also, I do want to um, give myself like a couple of household chores that I want to do here. So I might grab one of my clean colored dot pens and give myself some bullet points. Not too many, I guess, because I um, I'm gonna have my work cut out for me with these guys. So um, something I want to do is laundry. Yes, gotta do that. Tidy room. Gotta do that. Um, let's see. What else do I need to do? Uh, I want to walk bugs, so that's going to take me a bit, 30 minutes, got to remember that I need to do that, got to work out, um, what else, 
I do want to um, film YouTube vids, which I'm doing right now, and then edit um, vertical plan with me. I still have a video from last week that I still need to publish. And then just three more things. What do I want to do? I'm going to try to wash bugs. It's about time that I wash that little dog. And then what else do I want to do today? Um, clean bathroom sink. And then aquarium water change. Got to give my aquarium a water change. So I think... Those are the things that I'm going to try to do today in terms of household. And then, okay, now that this is my favorite part slash my tricky part. Um, what I like so much about having a schedule right next to a to-do list is because then you're able to kind of see what is realistically possible and like give yourself a time limit to accomplish each task. So it's currently 7.38 in the morning. I am going to go ahead and film i'm gonna film um uh, from like 7 30 to 9. so i'm gonna film in this chunk of time here and i'll use my mild liners to uh give me a little box there so youtube studio time I'm going to film as much as I can until 9 o'clock. And then once 9 o'clock hits, I'm going to uh, give myself a two-hour chunk of, um, of B workshop. So that's number one. So this goal, I'm going to do two hours of that to do eight colonies i'm gonna it's gonna take me let's see um maybe five hours <laughs> it's gonna be a lot so i might do an hour here and then two more hours five to six And hopefully it doesn't take me that long, but this is a really reasonable estimate based on how how I know how quickly I can move through this analysis. So, okay, and then I will give myself, let's see. Um, okay, next I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work out right here. It's gonna be my workout. And then right after at noon, I'll do some household stuff. See if I can knock out some of these tasks down here. And then, whew, um, do you see how quickly like time gets eaten up? Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to do an hour of grading. Followed by an hour of genomics followed by whew, yeah I'm gonna I just have an hour here Dang. I have and I also have to leave like the movies at 8 15 so that means I have to leave around 7 45 
45 minutes and what can I do here? I can uh, walk bugs and any chores that I can squeeze into there. And then, so that leaves me an hour here. So that fourth hour, I'm just gonna have to split it. It's gonna be a split. So we'll do 30 minutes of the last two things that I have to do. So multimedia, I'm gonna squeeze in 30 minutes and writing. 30 minutes of writing, 30 minutes of multimedia. It's just, that's just what's gonna have to happen today because um, I just have way too much going on. <sighs> it's gonna be a very busy day. This is very typical of my work week, um, honestly, except I usually start at seven because I don't film during the week. And um, I tend to, f yeah, I do tend to finish around six or seven. So, and I usually just go to sleep around nine and, you know, have some me time around eight. So I don't usually go out to watch movies because I'm just pretty tired at that point and I do want to have my own time. This is at 8 p.m. during the week days. That's when I usually tend to do like my planner stuff. So, okay, let's see. Yeah, this, whew. And depending on how these bee workshops go, you know, I might finish an hour early. I might finish 15 minutes early. I might be able to squeeze another little thing in there. But yeah, it's going to be a packed day. I did get up around 6.30 today. And then I had coffee and I watched a YouTube video and kind of like figured out, set up my whole filming situation so that I could just jump into filming when I started, you know, feeling a little bit more awake. And I think this is it. I think this is the game plan and it's currently 7.46. So I do have some time to film some more YouTube videos. So let's see, I think that's it. And I don't think I have any more room for like stickers or anything like that which it's it's nice to have these like really colorful block pads because they look really nice and you don't really need to decorate them too much so this is it this is it um i love it i love how it looks and yeah wish me luck today i have a lot going on <laughs> all right everyone thank you so much for tuning in and i will catch you in my next video bye